Chemical analysis reveals why Stonehenge's rocks are virtually indestructible. This is from a new study shedding light on how the world-famous megalithic Stonehenge monument in southern England stood the test of time since it was built over the course of centuries starting more than 5,000 years ago. The first extensive examination of samples obtained straight from one of Stonehenge's megaliths to uncover the geological and chemical structure of the stone was done by researchers from University of Brighton in the UK. And according to their findings published in Plus One magazine, the sarsens, the gigantic stones that make up the monument, are made out of sand-sized quartz grains glued tightly together by an interlocking mosaic of quartz crystals. This is what researchers found out by using contemporary CT scanning x-rays, microscopic analysis, and other techniques. And these quartz grains are what make the stones impervious to crumbling or erosion, according to researchers' explanation. This small sample is probably the most analyzed piece of stone other than moon rock. This is what the head of the research professor, David Nash, said in his statement. And according to the research team statement, upon publication, the sample occurred during a restoration project at Stonehenge in the 1950s, when a stone cutter named Robert Phillips was able to extract 90 centimeter long or three feet cylindrical core sample from one of these stones. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Phillips transported the memento back to the U.S. and kept it for decades until he gave the material to researchers back in 2018, just a few years before he passed away. It's extremely rare. As a scientist, you get the chance to work on samples of such national and international importance, Nash said. Stonehenge, he said, is part of the World Heritage Site and is subject to the strictest legal protection, so it would be highly unlikely that we would be able to access this type of material today. Getting access to the core drilled from Stone 58 was very much the holy grail of our research, he said. Now, according to the research conclusions, no previous investigation has analyzed a single sarsen boulder with such a range of complementary techniques, meaning that comparisons with previous studies are limited to selected rock properties. Aside from being almost exclusively cemented by optically continuous syntaxical quartz overgrowths, the petrography of Stone 58 is otherwise unremarkable compared to other sarsens. Likewise, the major element geochemistry of the stone is similar to the small number of chemical data sets available for sarsens, the researchers concluded. And this is by Kirill Kuriviev on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.